How's it going guys? Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, I'm going to share with you my lower league tactic. If this is the first time you've watched a video on this channel, please do remember to subscribe to the channel, press that like button and of course leave your comments below if you've got any comments on this video. To give you a little bit of a background of the current save that I'm playing on Football Manager 2016, I'm currently playing as Montrose who start in League 2 of the Scottish divisions. So currently into my fourth season at the moment and in the first season we managed to get to the playoffs and we were actually predicted to finish 10th in League 2 which would have been bottom of the league but yeah we managed to get into the playoffs. Unfortunately we lost in the playoff final. The next year however in the second season we managed to get promoted and we came first in the league. And my first season in League One, um, we ended up getting into the playoff final. Again, unfortunately, luck wasn't particularly on our side. And um, yeah, we ended up losing that match as well. So yeah, into the fourth season, we're actually predicted um, to do actually pretty well this season. I'm hoping to go up um, by finishing first in the league. Okay, so what I wanted to do first, guys, is just to give you a little bit of a brief overview of the tactic, my kind of thoughts and feelings behind what I was doing when I was making the tactic. So as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward 4-4-2 formation. We have um, fullbacks who are looking to overlap on the um, kind of wings, basically. We've got two centre midfielders who are just doing a little bit of everything, basically. So the centre midfielders are like basically responsible for providing a little bit of industry in the middle of the of the park you know they'll they're basically responsible for supporting both defensive um you know defense and attack where needed so for me i just wanted to make sure that we're quite steady in the middle and um, one of the key things i wanted to make sure i got from my lower league tactic is just to make sure i've got players that are working really really hard in the middle of the pitch if you take a look at the attributes for my um, players especially the work rate attributes you'll see that a lot of my players so even on this page here when we've where we've got uh, yeah near enough 20 players the lowest work rate attribute that I've actually got in my team here is 12 and um, going through so the lowest ones this guy's a goalkeeper and yeah so the the way that my team is structured to play basically is just based upon work rate alone so what I have decided to do, um, I just wanted to keep the shape really, really simple. So yeah, like I said, I've gone for a 4-4-2. If we have a look at the team instructions, because I have got players in my team who have got really high work rate, and most of them have got quite high determination as well. My idea was basically that I'm going to hassle the opposition by closing down. Um, I've only got that set on more. I didn't want to go it to much more um, just because simply my players don't particularly have the good anticipation and decision making to make sure that they're, you know, closing down at appropriate times. So I've just put the closing down to more. I've also put the tempo on higher um, as well, just because, um, like it says here, we're using our intensity to unsettle the opposition. And because a lot of my players do have really high work rate, um, yeah, making the tempo higher is a lot better for me um, in terms of making sure that my players are kind of really forcing, uh, you know, sort of hassling the opposition, basically. Um, in terms of width, I've just gone for fairly wide. My basic approach with attacking with this team is to try and get the balls down the down the wings. Um, sometimes what I'll do, I'll push one of my centre midfielders onto the attack duty. Um, and the idea is because we've got our left and right backs um, and both of our um, sort of wide midfielders pushing forward, them guys are basically getting the crosses in. And the idea is that say the ball is getting crossed in from the right hand side, this guy um, in actual kind of match play, you know, is actually kind of pushing forward into this area and if I'm setting one of my uh, midfielders onto the attack duty what you'll find is he'll be up here so this guy here um, McCallum he'll be basically getting the ball down to the wing here getting across him um, and as you'll see like these four players here should be in and around the box to try and put the ball in the net that's my basic um, you know kind of method for attacking basically with this formation I've got set up here Going back to the team instructions, um, what you'll see that we do like to play the ball out of defence. I'm not really interested in hoofing the ball up or, you know, 
trying to play the ball long. My my defenders don't really have that good anticipation decision making. So it's really important that we do try and keep hold of the ball at the back, not try and give away possession cheaply um, or anything like that. So yeah, we do try and look to play the ball out of defence. That works pretty well for me. And like I said, I do like my fullbacks to overlap the left and right midfielders. So what I've got is the look for overlap um, sort of instruction, basically, um, just to make sure that my um, players are overlapping. I have noticed that my uh, strikers are not particularly good at heading the ball. Um, none of them are that quick, to be honest, either. But they have got quite good finishing attributes. And a couple of them have got quite good off-the-ball attributes for being in the lower league. So in terms of crosses, um, I'm looking for lower crosses. So in terms of my kind of actual team instructions, I've only actually got six team instructions. Like, you know, in for lower league football, your players have not got high anticipation or decision making skills so it's really really good idea to keep your team instructions to a minimum making sure that you're focusing just on key attributes that your players have got so in my particular example I've got really high work rate throughout my whole team so I need to make sure that I'm making the most of that particular attribute. Most games I will start with the mentality as standard depending on who we're playing if we're playing a team that's a lot weaker than us then what I will do um, right at the beginning of the game I'll just go straight on to attacking. This team has got the potential to score a lot of goals and we do score a lot of goals. Um, most of the time just my strikers are the ones that do get the goals. My left and right midfielders tend to get a lot of assists um, as well as my fullbacks getting a lot of assists as well. My central midfielders don't particularly score too many goals but certainly my strikers, um, I'll show you this guy here, Declan uh, Milne. So this guy last season, um, in terms of average rating, he didn't exactly set the world on fire. But he, out of 32 appearances or 32 starts, he got 17 goals, um, 5 assists. So he weren't too bad. Considering this kid's only 20 years old as well, um, he's, you know, he's all right for lower league football. Um, so yeah, I'm making the most out of the kind of attributes that I have got from my players as well. A good thing to do, guys, when you are setting up a tactic for a lower league team is to have a look at your team report. Now, what you want to do is go to the um, comparison screen. This is a really, really good way to kind of see where what attributes your team is strong in. So if I go to all positions and if I have a look at the work rate attribute, I can see that in League One, my team has got an average um work rate attribute of 11.97 so let's call it 12 pretty much uh the best team in the league happens to be four far who are well who've got a uh, work rate attribute on average of 12.07 so we're we're really high up in that one although earlier in the video i did actually say that my um team has not got particularly good decision making attributes it does look like we have actually got the best um decision making um, sort of attribute on average throughout my team in the whole of the first division which is obviously a good thing but the um, you know the team average is only 10.13 so it's not exactly high looking throughout this whole you know kind of team structure as well we're actually pretty good with our first touch our passing skills are pretty decent as well we've got really really good teamwork and um, we're not too aggressive which is something maybe I might need to have a little bit of a look in, into just considering that I do want my midfielders and the whole team to be pressing the opposition as well. Um, so yeah, what you can basically do guys in building up your tactic, you would have a look through here. So good thing to do. So for example, my attackers um, on average are sort of heading skills is only nine um, upon, you know, out of all of our sort of attackers. So that's not particularly good. Um, you know, a very high attribute ranking basically for my team. Um, however, if I look at something like movement, I'm actually in first place with that with 11.75. Uh, so that says to me that my players are pretty good off the ball. So yeah, you can basically use this to try and figure out which tactic um, you would like to employ just by having a look at some of the um, sort of team ratings where you're actually really high at. So to finish this video off, I just wanted to show you the player instructions that I have for this team. There's not actually too many player instructions that I do, you know, sort of add to my players really. A lot of the roles that I have given my players, like the central defender ones, um, reading the descriptions of what I wanted the players to do, the, the roles actually make the players do what I wanted to, you know, to get them to do anyway. So you can see just having a look here, 
pretty much none of my players have any additional instructions. Sometimes my wingers, I might get them to maybe look for like a target man or something like that. Um, but yeah, in general, you'll see I'm literally not ad adding any player instructions to any of any of my players, just simply because the actual roles do, yeah, they, <laughs> the players do what I would like them to do. Um, I hope you found this video interesting, guys. Obviously, if you do have any comments um, on this video or any questions, um, yeah, do put them below in the video. Of course, like I said at the beginning, do press the like button on the video. It really does help out the channel. And also, if you do have any lower league tactics that you'd like to share with people, do put your lower league tactics in the comments section as well. Just let us know what kind of roles you give the players, how you go about setting up your lower league tactics as well. Thanks for watching this video.